Hello church and happy Saturday, happy last day before we are in fresh wind spiritual times this week starting tomorrow morning. I hope you have plans to be there Sunday morning, Sunday night, Monday night, Tuesday night, Wednesday night. It's going to be just a great week of seeking after God. You know, I, when I think of this title fresh wind, I just I think of uh, in Acts chapter 2, when the Holy Spirit comes, and, and I believe as I've been praying and fasting for this week, I believe that the Holy Spirit is just going to encounter us, like some of you maybe have never felt before, have ne never been in a situation like this before, and I believe it's going to be empowering, I believe it's going to build your spirit, and I'm so excited to see what He has in store for this coming week. You know, as as we look at this coming week and as we look at uh, the person of the Holy Spirit, just in today's uh, devotional, I think of Acts chapter 2 where the Holy Spirit comes upon them and, and, and empowers them. And I think lots of times we wonder, well, how does that happen for me? How do I get, how do I receive the Holy Spirit? And I'm reminded of Matthew chapter 7 uh, in verse Seven. It says, ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock, the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks, receives. The one who seeks, finds. And to the one who knocks, the door will be opened. Which of you, if your son asks for bread, will give him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, will give him a snake? If you then, though you are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father in heaven give good gifts to those who ask him? Man, as we prepare for this week, as we prepare, at, as you are just at home right now seeking after God, just getting ready to spend some time with Him, I encourage you, ask Him for the Holy Spirit. Ask Him and you will receive. Ask Him for what you need and, and He will give this to you. We see that the Holy Spirit has so many amazing gifts that He wants to give to you. Gifts, they, they are not just to us, but they're through us, they're to us for other people, but we also see that there's there's the gifts and then there's the grace. He wants to he wants to give you a spirit language, and you just have to ask. And you have to be ready to receive. You know, if me and you are about to play uh, a catch with a football, if I'm about ready to throw it to you, and you're standing there like this with your arms crossed, if the ball comes to you, you know what's going to happen. You're going to drop it. So what do you do? You put your hands up and you get ready to receive. As you are seeking after the Holy Spirit and as you want to receive the Holy Spirit, I encourage you, don't just be in this position where you're just sitting here, arms crossed, like, all right, God, when are you just going to make it happen to me? No, God's not just going to force something upon you. I encourage you, find a spot, be in a position to receive, begin to open up your mouth and begin to praise God for how good he is. Just begin to seek after and praise him your arms, every every part of you is just in a position ready to receive the Holy Spirit, ready to receive whatever it is that God has for you. So I encourage you as you prepare this final day for fresh wind, what it's going to have in store, ask God for the Holy Spirit and be in a position to receive. And I believe we're going to see the Holy Spirit move in a way that maybe you've never seen before this week at Fresh Wind.